Okay, I just want to take a minute to show you uh, how to remove the handle from your Wonder Junior hand mill. <clears throat> this is really easy. Um, you are going to need a couple of tools, either an uh, adjustable wrench and a mallet. We chose this mallet from Lowe's because it has a uh, rubberized or plasticized uh, end on it. And it, if you, when you're removing this, if you, when you're tapping on the back side of the handle, it won't chip it or scratch it. Now you can use a regular hammer if you're careful. Um, typically you'll hit it once and it will pop off. But uh, what you do is you take, it's very simple, take this nut off of the back of the handle, set that aside where you won't lose it, and by holding, pulling outward, if you take a hold of your handle and kind of pull outward as you tap on this, it'll pop it off. And sometimes it takes a couple of taps. Let's see if you pop that. This is a tapered, this has a tapered fit. And actually it's really nice because this taper matches up with this taper. So it always gets a nice tight fit and it's not slipping around. It's like a key action. But it also makes this a little stubborn sometimes to get off. But as I said, if, you, if you're pulling out slight this way, this direction on the handle as you tap it, it'll pop it off. It's very easy. Then you can use your drill adapter that slides on here, or you can put a motorizing pulley on it. Um, you can also, some people will take this pin out and they remove the shaft. Um, but that's how it is. To put it back on, simply reverse the process. One little tip is when you put this back into place, tight, snug this up, snug this bolt. Not super tight, you don't want it to break off, but a good, just to where it feels snug and you'll feel that pull back onto that uh, tapered spline. Very easy to do. Uh, like I said, two tools typically, a crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench and a, and a hammer.